Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Cem, I'm a software developer and in this video we are going to talk about some of the most common technical and non-technical mistakes that beginners and sometimes also experienced developers make. I will also give you some tips and hopefully they will help you to prevent making those mistakes. So the first common one of our list is not dividing your code. And what I mean by this is that some people, when they start a new project, they just create one single file and put everything inside. Maybe just because they are lazy or they don't know a better way. Now, the problem here is that when you don't divide your files and include all of the project code into that single file, once the project starts growing, it will become quickly complicated to read, to find something or to maintain the code, which ends up with refactoring and investing much more time and effort on it. So instead of this, you should always divide your code from the beginning and put them each into separated files and folders. For example, if you are doing web development, then you should separate your logic, your JavaScript, from the view, your, your template HTML, and also from the styling CSS files. Once you learn how to do this, then later you will have a much organized project structure, which will also avoid to investing extra time and effort on your project. Okay, so mistake number two is don't repeat yourself. This is another common mistake that programmers do. While coding, they just write the same code again and again, which makes the code redundant. There is a principle called dry, don't repeat yourself, which reminds you exactly to write code in a smart way without repeating the same code again and again. That's why we have functions, classes, for loops, and much more things in programming that helps us to decrease the redundancy of code. Another important mistake that some people unfortunately do is to give up or quit programming very early. Programming is not easy. There are so many things to learn and that scares many people, especially if they are at a beginner level. So what some people do here is that when they get stuck somewhere or they don't understand something, they just lose their hope or motivation and they want to quit programming just because they find it too difficult or maybe they think they are not clever enough to do this job. Programming may not be the right job for everyone, but this is not something you should decide at the very beginning of your career. If you are doing this job for a couple of years and you are still not happy for some reason, then maybe you can consider making a switch on your career. But if you are just starting and you are in this business for a couple of weeks or months maybe, then giving up that quick won't be a good idea. What you should do instead is to accept the truth that programming is hard to learn and it takes time to understand things. So what I can suggest you here is to invest enough time and put enough effort until you start understanding really how things work. So eventually you can start improving yourself at coding. So mistake number four is memorizing code. This is another mistake that especially beginner developers do. They just try to memorize code blocks or scripts rather than understanding what they do and how they work. You don't have to remember everything and that's fine, but you should rather try to understand the role of every single line of code, what they do and how they work. This approach will take some time until you understand things, but once you achieve it, then you will also start improving quickly, so please stop memorizing things because it's not going to help you at all. Mistake number five is comparing yourself to others. Some people unfortunately compare themselves to their colleagues, to their friends or other students from their class. Remember that everyone has a different background of knowledge and experience, so if you want to be a successful programmer, what you should do instead is to stop comparing yourself to others and mind your own progress. Just think about how much your experience was yesterday, maybe a month ago or maybe a year ago, and this will definitely help you to realize how much progress you have made from a month ago or from a year ago. Another common mistake that we see is that people don't practice what they learn. You can watch tutorials and read documentation the whole day, but you won't really learn and understand programming if you don't 
practice. The best and the fastest way to learn programming is to write code by yourself. Luckily, today there are endless of resources that you can find on the internet. So what can I suggest you here is to search for example projects, whatever language you are learning and start coding right away. This will definitely help you to learn coding much faster. But if you don't practice what you learn, then you are not going to understand the most important things of programming and then it will be much more difficult to make progress. Mistake number seven is not learning debugging. Debugging is so important in daily programming, which helps us to locate errors and bugs of the code. Some people, however, don't know how to debug their code, so eventually they can't find the problems of their code. So my suggestion here is that if you have already learned the basics, you should definitely start learning immediately the concept of debugging and also the tools of it. Mistake number eight is to copy code without understanding. Another mistake developers do is that they find some code from the internet and copy it exactly as it is to their project for solving a problem or maybe for a new feature. Well, there is nothing wrong with that if you know what you are doing, because probably you can't just use the same script one to one exactly in your project. You may need to make little changes to that script or delete some unnecessary parts so it can suit well to your project. But if you just copy some code from the internet without understanding how it works, then later it will cause unfortunately more problems. Mistake number nine is not learning source control mechanisms. Source control mechanisms like Git is a crucial part of our daily programming. Unfortunately, what I saw is not only beginners, but also experienced developers sometimes, they don't know how to use Git or a version control system. So Git is also one of the most important things you should learn after you understand the basics. Git is however very large and it has many different comments, so you don't have to learn all of it upfront, but at least you should learn things like what a branch is, how to create a branch or how to push and pull changes from the server or other things that we use on a daily basis. The last mistake, but not the least, is taking the wrong learning path. Some people don't have an idea of where to start learning programming. And if they are trying to learn, for example, Angular or React before learning JavaScript, then all of them will become much more complicated and difficult to understand. So if you are a beginner and have no idea where to start, or maybe you are not sure whether you are on the right way, I have another video explaining where exactly you should start learning programming that might be helpful for you. So you can also check that out after watching this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.